The end of the 2022 season signaled the end of Mercedes' eight-year reign as Constructors' Champions. The Silver Arrows managed to secure only one win this season, with their seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton having a winless run. With new regulations coming into effect in 2022, the team has had it rough, as Hamilton and George Russell displayed poor performances. This has prompted warnings to the drivers and the team for team boss Total Wolf. Stay tuned to tell you what we know so far. Kicking off, Hamilton and Russell have had a disastrous 2022 season. Russell finished third in the Drivers' Championship, and Hamilton finished sixth, setting an unwanted record of his first ever season without a win. At the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Hamilton finished 10th. Have I told you about the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, where he finished P13? Mercedes has struggled to win races this season due to new regulations, as they've always trailed behind Red Bull and Ferrari. The only win of the season was at the Brazilian Grand Prix, where Russell won and Hamilton finished second. According to Wolf, the team understood the regulation changes incorrectly, and thus set them many steps back. The regulation changed. We got it wrong, admitted Wolf. But all the other pillars are still in place, and we have to tune the systems and understand. And I'm 100% sure that this was a difficult year that was necessary for us to re-motivate and re-energize the organization, he added. Mercedes's car had serious porpoising problems at the start of the season that rattled the drivers, causing back and chest pains. This prevented them from knowing the problems with their car. After solving the porpoising challenge, they discovered a design flaw with the car's floor that was difficult to tackle mid-season. Mercedes drivers were the third fastest on the grid because of the car's low straight-line speed, which contributed to their poor performance. For sure, the 2022 season is one that Mercedes is going to want to forget. Next, Wolf warned the team not to follow Red Bull and Ferrari's history. Since the start of the turbo era in 2014, Mercedes has been a force to be reckoned with. They've dominated all the seasons. However, their eight-year Constructors' Championship reign ended the season, with them finishing third behind Red Bull and Ferrari. Some people in the F1 world have suggested that Mercedes could experience a title drought for years. Just like Red Bull and Ferrari did after years of dominance. Ferrari enjoyed a period of dominance in the 2000s that ended in the late 2000s after key figures such as Schumacher, Ross Braun, and Jean Tott left. Red Bull then took over the dominance only for it to end with the introduction of turbo hybrids in 2014. Ferrari has arguably never recovered since then. Wolf has warned Mercedes not to repeat the history made by their competitors. He's urged them not to lose focus as they seek to recover in 2023. Is Mercedes just about to repeat history? In response to this question, Wolf said, You can see that with Ferrari, they lost the whole top leadership and their key driver, but with Red Bull, it was a situation in that the power unit regulations changed. Fundamental parameters changed. But we can be looking at that and thinking that we had better be careful. The season has gone by in a heartbeat, and we can't let it happen where we look back after the next season and be the ones asking what happened. Following that, Mercedes had tensions as they tried to find solutions to their challenges. Mercedes spent a lot of time fixing the seemingly unending problems it has faced since the beginning of the year. Everyone on the team had a role to play for them to get into a position to salvage the season and improve their car. During all these processes, there were tensions in the team, especially when they were trying to figure out a solution for their car's lack of pace, as revealed by Russell. I think for sure the dynamic would have been slightly different had we arrived at the first race and had the fastest car in the grid. A lot of questions were asked. There's a huge amount of late nights throughout this season, a lot of tension at times between drivers, team designers, and with regards to, are we on the right tracks? Do we need to be doing something different? Do we need to be more drastic? Do we need to follow the same path as that that we're on? Or do we continue doing what we know best? These were very difficult conversations, that we come away from them closer together. Russell told the High Performance Podcast, If Mercedes were battling for race wins and titles this season, according to Russell, his relationship with Hamilton would have been different. The team's connections wouldn't have been as strong as they are were it not for the period of uncertainty. Moving on, Russell has expressed Mercedes' doubts despite Wolf's optimism. Mercedes will not start the 2023 season as the reigning champions for the first time since 2014. However, Wolf is confident that they have no fears of what will happen since they haven't left out any development detail. At the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, Mercedes struggled to compete with Red Bull as Russell finished P5 and Hamilton dropped out of the race due to a mechanical failure. With all of these performances, Russell has warned a team that Abu Dhabi was a reality check for them. Speaking to Sky Sports F1, Russell said, This weekend was important for us. 
We had highs in Brazil and Mexico, but it's clear that our car only performs in a very narrow window. This was probably a little bit of a reality check for us. Wolf, however, expressed optimism for a 2023 run and praised the team for their determination despite the lack of pace in Abu Dhabi. You keep pushing so hard, the engine came along really well and I'm proud of what we achieved here. On the chassis side, there was more bad moments than good ones, but the good ones were spectacular. Like a week ago. It made us feel how good it can be and now we're just pushing forward for next year. It's raw, it's bad, and it's okay to feel like this. But next year, we're back, Wolf said. Next up, Wolf dismissed Hamilton's 35-point loss to Russell as irrelevant. In the first season at Mercedes, Russell finished top 5 in 19 of the 22 races. The team's only win this season in Brazil was his, where he won both the sprint and the Grand Prix. He finished at P4 with 275 points, while Hamilton finished at P6 with 240 points, which is a 35-point difference. There are speculations that in 2023, Russell could even widen his points margin over Hamilton since he already has a one-year experience at Mercedes. However, Wolf has said that the points difference between the two drivers is irrelevant because they weren't competing for a championship or victories this season, except in Brazil. For the first time since its debut in 2013, Hamilton wasn't competing for the title. Wolf, in a statement to the media, said, I think Lewis has been really good this year. He's held us up at times, the energy level when it was down in the briefing room, on days when it was difficult for him, but that particular record, I, I don't think matters a lot. It's more about helping to set the sails for next season. The partnership with George was really good. They de together developed the car. For me, knowing him for 10 years from a personal side, a human side, exceptional, better than the old performances he had in the car. His attitude and his mindset this year was outstanding, of not winning in a year at least. Finally, Wolf is uncertain of the team's comeback in 2023. Wolf is confident that Mercedes is going to make a comeback in 2023 after solving all of their 2022 problems. The Silver Arrows are sure of providing a better car next year for their hungry for titles drivers. Fear in Formula 1 is an immense emotion that Wolf says he doesn't have since the team needs to be focused in order to win. The team boss said that the team is to run faster because they have everything needed to run fast. Despite his confidence, Wolf admitted that nothing is certain in Formula 1. He said, I'm a glass half empty kind of guy and I never believe that the job we're doing is good enough. I'm not sure at all whether we can bounce back to a position where we compete for championships because you need to acknowledge that the competition is strong. But we'll do everything in our power, everything to set our objectives high and try to reach them. If we were to go by what we saw with Mercedes at the start of the season, then we can agree that Wolf that nothing is granted in Formula 1. At the team pre-testing in Bahrain earlier this year, Mercedes' W14 car amazed many for its zero side pods design. However, the design proved useless for the car's speed, contrary to what the team expected. How do you think Mercedes is going to perform in 2023? Let us know in the comment section below. Unfortunately, guys, that does mark the end of our video for today, but yeah, make sure to take a quick pit stop at the subscribe button for more great F1 content. Until next time, cheers. Vroom vroom. You're something. <laughs> Later.